So at the moment we're in Asahikawa in Hokkaido and it's about minus 10. <laughs> Um, but it's okay because I've got kid mittens. Uh, so we're here for the Asahikawa Winter Festival and it's um, it's north of Sapporo and that's why it's so cold um, but there is this festival is famous for the biggest snow stage and also um, 100 meter long snow slide or ice slide which I'm definitely going on later. So this is the second biggest snow festival in Hokkaido um, but it's got much more of a community feel than the Sapporo Snow Festival. Um, so we're really excited to see this one too and it looks awesome. Uh, we're here at the first day so they're still setting some stuff up. But um, there's going to be lights and fireworks and things later. And so we're only here for one night and we definitely want to make the most of it by seeing as much as we can. So Asapi and Yukurin are the Yurachara mascots for Asahikawa um, and we met them earlier today um, but they're doing a thing where if you buy the pin badges which we probably would have bought anyway in the souvenir shop at the festival then you can get money off the food and I think we'll be having some of the food because it looks amazing. Asahikawa is famous for its ramen and that was something we knew we had to try while we were there. But we also had some red bean and mochi soup. And I struggled to remember words. So we've got these sweet potato crisps, they're really nice. They're, they're not warm, they're, sort of, um, they're um, like cold, but they're, they're really good. There are loads of fun and games that you can do for only a few hundred yen. Steve couldn't resist having a go. How was it? I got I got in there and suddenly realised how much I needed to wear so you could don't wear yourself in the ball, don't wet yourself in the ball. It's amazing, it's quite scary. Did you see when you nearly went into the girl? No. I didn't see anything, it's just like <laughs> she nearly knocked her off the wall. Amazing. Another really nice thing about Asahikawa's Winter Festival was that kids could decorate their own snowmen for free to display along the walls of the viewing points.
and at night it looked even lovelier, with concerts, firework shows and projection mapping. Why not subscribe to see more of our videos or you can follow Japan Shorts on Instagram.